In March 2013, the Center for Native Peoples and the Environment sponsored a visit from 10 students from the Menominee Nation. They visited the ESF campus and learned about willow biomass and the chestnut project. I'm here with the chestnut tree and the, the, uh, the elm tree and what happened to both of those species. I'm not familiar with them. So, so they used to be really dominant trees, in, especially in the northern hardwood forest. There, you know, the, the chestnut trees are really, really huge. They met a fellow student from Wisconsin who was delighted to encounter people familiar with her hometown. I'm a freshman in high school, so... I'm a, soft, I'm a senior. Uh, really cool. Well, you guys should think seriously think about coming here. They have a lot of really good out-of-state scholarships. Like, I pay, pay pretty much in state tuition to come here. Um, I love it. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I'm an environmental... I want to um, begin our class by saying also <laughs> to our visitors from the College of Menominee Nation, and um, we have been eagerly anticipating your the Menominee students attended Dr. Kimmerer's class, Indigenous Issues and the Environment, where they had a chance to answer questions from students in the class. That afternoon, we visited the Onondaga Lake Visitor Center and learned about Honeywell's work to clean up the lake. Next, we visited the Creek Walk near Onondaga Creek's outlet at the lake and afterwards could not resist the lure of Carousel Mall. From the mall, we headed south to Lafayette High School, where the Native Students Club was presenting Haudenosaunee social dances in the school gymnasium. All of us were invited to join in. The Menominee guests were welcomed and honored as part of the school gathering. They left the next morning to return to their community. We hope they come back. <laughs>